Hey, good morning everyone. I'm Monty and this is the Apper and this is Remy and Mike, uh, the programmers on the mobile stage. Um, and so, <coughs> next slide. So the mobile stage is an iOS app designed for audience use in an interactive mixed media theatrical performance. Um, during the performance, audiences <coughs> will use the app, they'll hold up their device and they will see a user selectable avatar of a digital performer who gets projected on stage in augmented reality. What's unique about this is that we kind of mix realities in the performance, and the uh, augmented reality actor is a real, who looks like a real person that's been pre-recorded on green screen, you can see me being recorded there, uh, interacts with the live actors as if they were really there, and the fact that they're a technologicalized actor is a part of the story itself. Um, audiences, because the audiences all have their devices with them, they're actually able to influence the story by voting on how the live performers on stage respond to the avatar. Because we have operators and a server that controls what the audience sees, just like we control the lights in the theater, we're able to do feedback between the actors and the audience, and actually have discussions about uh, on Twitter about uh, how the voting went, so if they don't like the results that were chosen, because the most popular result is the one that moves forward in the story, um, the audiences can argue about that over Twitter. I'm going to pass it over to Remy, who's going to talk about uh, the, what's going on in the hood. Uh, so <clears throat> this is the block diagram for the client. We, we have both the client and the server, but for the, the scope of this, uh, the most, the, this presentation, we only wanted to display the block diagram for the client. We have uh, in the middle uh, something called the interactive controller, which is basically representing all of the interfaces. Uh, what are they connected to? Uh, the most important component of our block diagram is on its left, uh, what is called the story manager. So this is basically the engine that drives the play. The, the play can, uh, of course, play, rewind, starts, but there is a control for when people make uh, polling, uh, they, they vote and there's uh, some polling results. There's a different uh, flows and different augmented, augmented reality uh, outcomes. To the left of the story managers, there's something called a plot reader, which is basically uh, what feeds in the data of the play. Uh, we want to put an emphasis on the fact that this, is, uh, this can be consumed uh, th this can consume any, uh, any XML, so anyone could use this app and feed it uh, in its own play. Uh, on the bottom, there's an augmented reality controller, which is basically, basically controlling uh, the marker, etc. Et uh, on top of the interactive controller, we have the social media interface, which is, uh, which is its own um, separate entity to the communication module, which handles the communication with the server. And uh, now it's time for the okay. so we'll do the demo. Server up here. Yeah. Cool. So you got two devices running the app itself, right. um, and server on another device. So we got this uh, little special connector here. So you guys should be able to see my iPad. So this looks a little bit smoother. So uh, our app is pretty feature rich. So for this demonstration, we're going to show you some preliminary data, preliminary contents from the places that's still being developed, and then walk you guys through what the audience experience would be like. So we'll open our app. So when the app is uh, when the play starts, the audience will be presented with a screen, and uh, right now they cannot do anything. So they can uh, go look up some information, web credits page, which will load a, a, a web page for this play. It's called How to Die Digitally. Uh, it's being produced by Monty. So they can read the information and uh, do you know read up on who made it and all that stuff. And uh, we can go back and they, they can go to the Twitter screen and, and chat. So we're not going to do that right now because we're going to show that later. So now, uh, say the play is starting, so we have the uh, whoever is controlling the play from the back end. So if you press launch, so now we'll launch our, our play, and they will be presented with this screen. And uh, we can customize the information on the screen, but for this demo, we're not going to have anything. So let's do a trigger. So this goes to the next stage of our, our app here. So open off the lights here. So they will be able to choose uh, you know, which character. So this is the character selection screen, so there's Chrissy. Uh, Helen and uh, Montgomery, and uh, you can choose whichever character you would like. <coughs> and once you've chosen it, so you can do another trigger. Uh, yep. Right, and then that so the character selection is done. And again, we come back to the screen. We can trigger again. Uh, that will take us to the AR screen. And based on the character we have chosen, yes. So now we have the AR screen, and we're pointing at the stage. So the, the stage, stage manager can still trigger, uh, if you do an AR cut. Yep. See, now we have the ghost one here appearing. And then I would interact 
as the performer, I'll be on headset so I can hear what my partner is saying and we can talk and have a scene together and I can duplicate myself or have a different scene partner depending on each uh, and uh, 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 kind of have a scene with my mini Monty. <laughs> So now the first part of the play is done, and then we're going to do another AR cut. So, come on, can you do another AR cut? No, there's this one here. Oh, okay. So, maybe, little, maybe it's the lighting. Yeah. Trigger? Yeah. So now we're done with the, with the play, and uh, so we can show off what the audience can do in between you know, different stages of the play. So, they can press the social media button, which would make this uh, nice looking customized uh, Twitter uh, interface here. So, let's see, uh, Remy said, uh, I'm so thrilled. And I say some stuff, and um, <laughs> so I can I can tweet so that was great. So that sends off a tweet to the Twitter server. So we'll wait for it to refresh. But let's take a look at what else is here. So this is one of the previous poll results. So we can click here, and uh, those was our previous polls. How should the grandfather respond? And uh, be happy, be angry, or be indifferent. So this can be uh, completely <coughs> customized and dynamically generated. So whatever the, the survey questions or uh, the poll questions, people can uh, answer that. And then, oh, let's see. Uh, so let me just tweet it on the fly, and I just tweeted that was great. <coughs> so that was a uh, demonstration. Right, so based on uh, what we have learned in this, I mean, we have learned quite a bit, uh, but we want to focus on what sort of things we want to do a little bit differently. So the first thing is we probably want to recruit actors sooner so we can have more material for our app. Uh, this will be done on uh, Monty's side. And uh, we probably want to spend a little bit more time on interface design and user experience planning. So a lot of the user interface is designed by the programmers. And a lot of the, the things we sort of, we sort of just taking things for granted, but we wanted to get more sort of input from uh, real users and see how they would like to interact with the app. And then the uh, AR, the augmented reality SDK we used has some feature limitations, has a whole bunch of security features. Uh, that weren't really nice to play with, uh, you know, even we on the overlay stuff on, top, uh, stuff on top of it, so we probably want to consider possible uh, alternatives. And uh, finally, we probably want to do a little bit of uh, a social media sort of inter interaction usage study prior to the implementation of the, the Twitter interface. So this way we know what user, how users would like to interact with each other and uh, how to effectively put that into an app. And for the future, um, next week um, I will be demonstrating a five minute sequence uh, uh, as part of the other first year PhDs in the drama program showing off the work of some things that we've been having fun with this year. But launching the global stage into a fully realized production in late 2013 or 2014 to refine the interactive elements and kind of deliver a proof of concept is the most important step at this point. Um, also, um, right now our images are look really cool, but they're not 3D, so if you move to the side it gets flat. Um, so what, what we'd like to do is uh, film using bullet time and the matrix style uh, to create a 3D um, kind of image that people can walk around. And it'd be really awesome to port this into Google Glasses for a really immersive experience. Questions? Do the different votes fundamentally change like the outcome of the play? They're, providing they're Mass Effect style. So that's yeah, it, it, it is supposed to be. There's a there, there's this whole uh, control flow that we're not showing that's under the cover where we could basically have different uh, amended reality scenes that would happen with different type of characters ba basically based on polling results. Mm -hmm. Right, and the polling results once they're the each audience member voted, they will actually all send get sent to the server side, and then whoever is running the play will be able to see the chart, uh, the pie chart live uh, as it updates. And then the, the actual whoever is controlling it can actually decide whether to go with the decision and tweet about it. And so you have to see the show multiple times. That's right. <laughs> That's the entire idea of interactive theater, mm -hmm. is to get you to come back. Uh, is there a limit to the number of avatars you can have displaying at one time? Uh, that would be based on, because it's a pre-recorded avatar, that would yeah. be based on how much work we want to do in right. recording. But recording and processing the, and, 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 and all the, the, the processing and, and, and all that. Um, the idea for, for how to die digitally is that the it will be one performer, one character, but the audience can vote on what age they see him at because he's a ghost of a dead man. One, one more? Oh.
So the avatar is fixed in one location, but if you if you move the, the mat around, will the avatar move? Actually, Actually, if you uh, keep the marker at the same place, we can make the, the avatar move around too. That's that's part of the technical possible. So. Although it's very difficult because. Um, in actually recording in green screen, an actor has a very limited range of motion in the frame, right? So while it's a technical possibility to move that person around, how that might actually look, depending on how it's been recorded, right? Um, it, it's really difficult because it, like when you're being recorded on a DSLR, if you step this forward, you go out of focus completely, right? So, and if you step over here, you're out of frame. Okay, great. Thank you.